How's it going guys? Sharplogs here. Welcome back to another RB Battles video. Today guys, we are going to be getting another challenge badge. And yep, as you guys know, you need all 12 of these badges to get the Winner's Wings 2.0. In today's video, we're going to be getting this, RB Battles Challenge from Adopt Me. Now apparently this one is incredibly easy to get. You should be able to do it in under four minutes. And yeah, let me show you what to do. So here's the game, Adopt Me. It's got the RB Battles event. You can either do this on a public server or or you can do it on a private server. It doesn't really matter. So when the game loads, there might be a chance you actually spawn in your house, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, I'll show you where to go anyway. So you just want to click on play. You just want to choose whatever you want. Then you just want to exit your home straight away. So let me just do no. Let me just exit home. Just close out of all of these GUIs. Then guys, you want to go to the exit, which is right here. So yep, just walk into the exit and it is going to bring you to the main city. Now inside of the main city, what we want to do is find three crystals. We've got green, purple, and blue, which obviously match the hosts of RB Battles. Yeah, one for Sabrina, one for Russo, and one for DJ. So if you guys just walk into the middle of the map, I would say the fastest way to find all of these is simply to go for the bridges. I'll tell you what, let's go for the stone kind of bridge first, because I do know for a fact there is one over here. And yeah, it's actually right there. The one over the stone bridge is actually the purple one. So what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to run over over to it. Simply walk into it, I think, and it will activate. It will turn on, it will play a sound effect, and that is one out of three. Now, all you want to do next, guys, is go back to the center of the map, and you can go over the other bridges. So, over there was the red one, I think. Oh, yeah, here's the red one. So, near the red one was the green crystal, I think. Oh, no, it was blue. I'm getting mixed up. Near the red bridge is the blue one. Near the wooden bridge is the green one. We'll get that last of all, I guess. So, let's go over to the blue crystal, and yeah, it's pretty simple you walk into it it will activate now we just need to find the final one and yes like i was saying guys the final one is over the wooden bridge which should be over here to the left so let's just go and have a quick look yeah there you go there's the wooden bridge and it's basically the same guys once we walk over this one we can find the green crystal so let's just go over here and yeah we're just gonna have a quick look for it i would say the green one is the only one which is really hidden i just missed it well i almost didn't see it it's just here behind the trees and what is this? No, there's so many annoying GUI pop-ups in this game. Anyway, here's the green crystal. So walk into it. It will activate. And there you go. You now have three crystals all activated at once. And as you can see, they're kind of shining onto something in the sky. Well, yeah, the thing is, guys, we need to collect that. And to collect the thing which is in the sky, I think it's a trophy, actually. We need to go over to the flying pirate ship. It's just over there. You can probably see it already. So let's just go over to the bridge. And yeah, let's just go and get there. The pirate ship should just be over there. There you go. Yeah, you just walk up the stairs there and you can go up and get it. I think we might have to talk to him. What's his name? Captain Arg or something. So let's go and speak to this guy. Get on the balloon and then we have to wait for it to fly up. So I think we probably just take a seat. Oh, we have to buy it. Yeah, of course you do. And the balloon it will take off in 60 seconds. So we have to wait a minute. Then we can fly up to the sky. Oh, it's finally flying. There we go. So yeah, you have to wait a minute. Then it should fly. And it's basically going to bring you to that tower thing which was in the sky or the castle in the sky right? Snowball fight is starting. Why does it keep on coming up with this stuff? It's so irritating. Honestly, guys, I don't think I could play this game. Anyway, once you get up to the castle, you just want to jump off the boat. Be a bit careful, though. Don't jump down the gap and fall all the way to the bottom because you'll have to do it again. But let's walk inside the building. And from here, guys, I think you just need to exit this room. So we just need to go all the way to the top here, then go outside of this door. Then we should be on the higher part of the castle and there should be like mini trampolines. So this bit, again, guys, you want to be a bit careful, but you want to jump off these trampolines. You basically want to bounce onto the next one and you want to get up to the roof just like that. And as you can see, I got the trophy. I got the badge. I'm holding it. It doesn't really matter if you fall down after that. And yeah, look at this thing. It's like some Roblox battles trophy thing. That's all you have to do. We should now have the badge. So I guess we can check out my inventory. And there we go. We have the Adopt Me RB Battles Challenge badge. That one was very, very easy, which is nice. So the final step, guys, is to add the badge into the event badges room. So let's go and add it now. And after this, guys, we only need three more. Wait, hang on. Is it not adding? I definitely got it. What's going on? Maybe a new server? I don't know. Okay, let's try that again, I guess, since the last server doesn't work. This one was also glitched up. There you go. Now it's working. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, that is how you get the Adopt Me badge. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe. Cheers for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.